Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Central Little League here in Coon Rapids for the 2014 Majors Town Tournament Championship between the National Little League Dodgers and the Central Little League A's. Joey on Howie Shapiro behind home plate for tonight's action. And, Howie, we saw the third-place game a little bit earlier this evening, and uh, it was a thriller. Went uh, went from looked like it was going to be a blowout, came back to tie, and then uh, – a last inning winner. Yeah, it was. And, and I talked to the uh, Phillies head coach after the game. And, you know, I said, you guys had to hold your breath a little bit there because you had that big 8-0 lead and allowed the uh, Cardinals to come back and fortunate to get those three runs in the bottom half of the fifth. And uh, they captured that third place crown. But this should be a good one between the Dodgers and the A's tonight. Well, these were the top two seeded teams in the tournament. And they held serve, so to speak, in the early rounds of this tournament in order to reach the championship. And now we will see who comes away holding the crown. The Athletics will bat first. Jack Hart, the second baseman, leading things off, followed by the pitcher, Antonio Manos. Ryan Curry, the catcher, hitting third with Jack Curry, the first baseman in the cleanup spot. Dawson Hamilton, Tate Birmingham, Jonathan Barnes, Jack Velocity, and Derek Smith round out the order. Joe Hinkle gets the start for the Dodgers. First pitch in the dirt. Takes a little something off, but finds the zone one and one. Well, Jack, in addition to playing baseball, loves to watch football, though he says that his dad is a Bears and a Cubs fan. We, of course, won't hold that against him. It sounds like someone in my, I in know, my right? household. A, t a couple of someone's in my household. And we don't hold that against them either. No. One and two. The early count to Jack Hart. Pitch down in the dirt. Trying to get him to reach for something. He's got a pitch to play with. Hard to believe when you see the size of some of these kids. Just 12 years old. Yep. Nice pitch that right was there. Nice. Hart caught looking for the strikeout. And there's one away. A look at the defense. Isaac Johnson, Logan Rotzin, and Danny Anderson controlling the outfield grass. Aaron Ness at first. Aiden Fatachik at second. Carter Herman is the shortstop. Wyatt Johnson at third. Aiden Whitmer Murray at, is the catcher. And Joe Hinkle, we talked about at first. The throw from short, a little wide. And Manos on with one away. We'll see it again here. Hit down to the shortstop. Throw just not able to be gathered in. Pop up behind the plate. Squeezed by Murray. And there's two down. That's a way to get a quick second out in this top half of the first. Well, I think Manos would have beat that throw even if it had not skipped right. away from Ness at first. But. He's swinging early. Jake Curry digs in first pitch way up high. Oh, Jake Murray Lake. a little bit of a, a rarity behind the plate. The left-handed catcher. Yeah. Jake, like a lot of kids, plays uh, football, baseball, and hockey. This one Rapids. driven down the left field line will fall. Big turn at second base, but Manos will scamper back. As Anderson got it back to the infield quickly. On oh, the A's have something cooking here with two away in the top half of the first. A nice piece of hitting to left field for Jake Curry. You see it down in the corner there. And Anderson, a little bit of trouble gathering that ball in. Now Dawson Hamilton looks at a pitch down and away. Well, the A's finished the regular season, Joe, with a 14-3-1 record. Two of those three losses were the, to the Dodgers. So this is a, this is a game of uh, a revenge for the A's. They'd like to come in here and put those losses behind them. One stroke to right and out of the reach of a diving Isaac Johnson. Lead runner is going to score. 
And they are gonna send the second runner. He'll score as well, a two-run triple for Dawson Hamilton. Well, more importantly, two runs with two outs. So he's able to keep this inning alive and get the lead for his squad with a nice piece of hitting to that corner and right field. Isaac Johnson not able to gather that, that ball in. And now you're in a situation with a runner at third two away, and already holding a 2-0 lead. Dave Birmingham at the plate. Swings hard but misses. Well, Tay Another big kid. Tay pitched last year when we were doing the game and certainly making his second uh, year here on CTN. Way out in front of that pitch, it was up by high. And quickly behind in the count, 0 2. He pitched in the Majors Town Tourney. I like it. A little bit of a bluff from Murray. Yep. Had it in his mitt, but acted as if it had gotten away just to see if. Hamilton might leave the bag at third, but not biting. Um, we were able to get a piece of that, that baseball, make sure he kept it close to where he was behind home plate, not allowing a runner to come home from third. And Dawson Hamilton. One foul back out of play. It'll stay at two and two. This one chopped on the ground a second, scooped up by Fatachik. The throw over to Ness in time to record the third out, but a big two out, two run triple for Dawson Hamilton as the A's on the board. Dodgers first chance at the play when we return on CTA. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Lights are coming on here at the ballpark as we head into the evening hours. Majors Town Tourney Championship. Had a very comfortable evening at the ballpark after what was a very hot and humid afternoon. Yeah, it really did. We got a little bit of a breeze, and it's kind of nice here where we're broadcasting the game from. And you know, what we had talked about it in that first game, a little bit concerned that this morning that we were going to get these games in, but uh, definitely no concern here this evening. There's a look at how the Dodgers will come to the plate. The catcher, Aiden Winber Murray, will lead things off, followed by Aaron Ness. Wyatt Johnson hitting third and playing third. Logan Rotzin in the cleanup spot. Carter Heeman behind him. Isaac Johnson, Joe Hinkle, Aiden Fatachik, and finally Danny Anderson rounding out the order for the National League Dodgers. Let's look at the A's in the field. Dawson Hamilton, Derek Smith, and Jonathan Barnes in the outfield. Jack Curry and Jack Arndt on the right side of the infield. Tate Birmingham and Jack Vlasity on the left. Ryan Curry is catching to start. And Antonio Manos will tow the rubber first. Bunt attempt is going to roll foul for Widmer Murray. Well, we, we get uh, we get the opportunity to, to meet some of these kids through their own answers to some questions. And Aiden Widmer is Murray, favorite Little League memories when he had his first Grand Slam. First Grand Slam. So that means maybe he has additional ones in, in that. Say that's definitely a memorable yes. moment. I would 
think that one handcuffed him a little bit right back to the pitcher Manos to Curry for out number one. Not jo nice job by Manos to bring that ball in. The quick throw over to Jake Curry. First base binder, Aaron Ness. I find it interesting. I, I mentioned how, how big some of these kids are. And it's two of the littler guys yeah. that are starting at first base. Yes. You'd think you'd want the big tall guy with the long stretch. No. No, got the little guy. He's got the, uh, got, he's got the ability over there at first. But his actual favorite position is second. He's starting here at first base this evening for the for the Dodgers. Manos kicks and fires. Fastball right back up the middle. Nice snag by Birmingham. He gets it over to Ness for out number two. Well, Curry not a, not a real little guy, but he's he's not Birmingham size. Now Birmingham is a uh, big, big young man, tall young man. There at the shortstop. Nice position. job charging that. Not the greatest throw, but a good dig. And of course, it helps Curry uh, a lefty over there. I'd like to have the lefties over on the first base yep. bag. Wyatt Johnson will come to the plate. Two out, nobody on. This one chop back up the middle. Birmingham on a hop. Over to Curry. And the Dodgers are retired. One, two, three in the first. A's back at the dish, leading 2 0 when we return. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. There's the head coach of the Dodgers, Travis Ness. And we appreciate all these coaches for getting the information together for us about their young men here. Well, the A's able to get a couple of runs on three hits. Their first time up. There's head coach Mike Curry of the A's. He also got a lot of information together for us. They actually sent us some nice uh, typed out notes about the guys. Appreciate that. Left fielder Jonathan Barnes. Swings and misses at a fastball low. Jonathan's a Nolan Ryan fan, another old school baseball player. Hinkle goes back down there again, but this time Barnes isn't biting. Can try to work that inside part of the plate, but it's two and one. Well, good patience at the plate from Jonathan Barnes as well. It's one chop foul. Coach Curry with a magnificent <laughs> reflex over there. Two and two. Pitch misses high and the count goes full. First time Hinkle's been to a three ball count early in this ball game. And 
misses inside a leadoff walk. Didn't miss by much. Yeah, he gave up a couple of runs in the past, and now he walked that leadoff hitter. He's trying to go to that inside corner just a little bit too much inside. Colton Fair will take over to run for Barnes. Jack Velocity will dig in. Pitch way up high. Nice job by Winmer Murray. Jumped out of his crouch to make that stop. Yeah, and that's a play that uh, keeps that runner at first. That ball gets behind him. You've got a runner in scoring position. Fastball swung on and missed, one and one. Murray, Winmer Murray fakes a throw down to the first. Keeping the base runner close. Another fastball blown past him, one and two. Jack's a fisherman, loves to go up the Lake Vermilion. Not thinking about fishing right now, thinking about this title. one hit pretty well the left to right center. Rotzin able to get it in quickly, but a single for runners at first and second with nobody out. On oh, the A's have something cooking again here. Nobody out, as mentioned, first and second. Nice piece of hitting there by Velocity. He's able to find the green center field. Now number nine hitter, Derek Smith. Pitches down and away. Derek's a Yankee fan, living here in Minnesota. Shows butt. And it's in there for a strike. Skips away from Mitt Widmer Murray, and both runners will advance on the pass ball. Come on, Derek, get him in. This one shot back up the middle. Nice stop by the pitcher. He'll get the out at first. The run will come home. Good heads up base running by Fair. Again, you're going to sacrifice the out to just get that out. Yeah, we'll get your third run of the, this ball game. You see the play at the plate, but Fair is able to beat that throw to the dish. Back to the top of the order, Jack Arndt. Strikeout victim his first time up. Looks at a fastball for a strike. Velocity, the runner at second with one out. Swung out and missed. Well, Hinkle heading the count at 0-2. He's got him where he needs to him to be with one away. And Runner at second. Took a little something off of that one. It's fouled back to the backstop. <laughs> Another 0 2. Misses down and away. This is high. Count is even at two and two now. One out, runner at second base. One already across. He's leading three nothing here in the top of the second inning. Hinkle kicks, fires. This one chopped right back to him. He got under his glove. Nice charge by Herman. Throws him out to Ness for out number two. Well, more importantly, uh, Velocity able to get over to second. He's safe. Safe at first. And Velocity able to get to third. And the throw over to the bag. So that'll put runners to the corners. Just one away. There's the throw. Not in time. Heads up base running by Velocity. And there are runners at the corners. <laughs> 
Antonio Mano singled and scored in the first. Now with runners at the corners, only one out. Nice pitch. You don't always see the throwdown in that situation with the runner at third. Trailing three, nothing, but they uh, with Murray throwing down to the second base. Aren't able to steal though. Put two runners in scoring position. Off speed pitches outside, two and one. And now in the dirt, three and one. Again, being patient at the plate, certainly helping your own cause. One misses low ball four, and that'll load him out. Still only one out. And this is going to draw a visit to the mound. A situation with bases loaded and one away, and already trailing three nothing. <laughs> Me to the order coming up. Number three hitter, Ryan Curry. Popped up to the pitcher his first time up, first pitch he saw. Ball in for a strike. And Corey just wanted to be a little more patient this time. After popping up on the first pitch. This one well over the head of Widmer Murray. Velocity never even left the base. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, and it's that's a big opportunity here for the Dodgers to see if they can try and get out of this inning with bases loaded. But Base running there and not able to take home. Uh, Hinkle struggling to find the zone now. Two walks in this inning. One to the leadoff man already came back to haunt him as that runner scored. Now three and one. Big pitch right here for Joe Hinkle. Down low, ball four. Well, he's going to walk in a run, and now the lead will grow to four for the A's. Just one away. Jake Corey singled first time up. Pitch in the dirt. Nice stop by Widmer Murray. Time he's able to find the zone and it's one and one. And Curry looked back, said, "Yep, yeah, it was a good pitch. Probably should have swung at it." Oh, I wonder with the pitcher struggling a little bit if the take sign is on. At least until you get that first strike. Yeah, you'll you'll uh, you'll take walk or you'll take runs on base on balls. 2 1 pitch swung out and missed. All right, Jake, that was a nice cut. Good, Jake. Had to duck under that one. And again, good. Good range of motion for Aiden Whitmer Murray. Yeah, able to make sure he brought that in. Yeah. 
fouled back and headed for Shapiro's vehicle. Nah, I parked far enough away. I took the shuttle over. We'll try again at 3-2. Only one out, base is loaded here top of the second inning. Swung on and missed, and that pitch a little bit high. I think Corey would have liked to have had it back. Yeah, and that's a big strikeout for the Dodgers now with two away bases loaded if, uh, again, they can limit the production by the A's. You can see that one high in the zone. It's gonna swing through it. Now Dawson Hamilton, a two-run triple his first time up. First pitch driven deep to right center, but this time underneath it is Isaac Johnson for the third out. And the A's leave the bases stranded. They do push a couple more across. They increase their lead to four as we head to the bottom of the second. Bring out the action hero in you. Fuel up right and get energized. Be part of the greatest action movie ever. The first movie that puts you in the action. Show us how you train and eat like an action hero. Join in at actionheroalliance.com. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. A relaxing evening at the ballpark, unless of course you have a child playing in a championship contest. Then it's not so relaxing. Then you're, uh, you're sweating it all out. A little bit. But a nice crowd here for this championship game. Yeah, ballpark. We yep. Bleachers uh, well attended in in every section. Uh, fans standing out beyond the fence in left field. There's a bleacher out there in left is left center as well. Well, the best way to see what we do here at CTN is Blu-ray. You can own a copy of what we do by going to our website at www.ctnstudios.com. It's the only way to see what we do in HD. And then unfortunately, Joe Yun's not on camera, otherwise you could see Joe Yun in HD, which is always a treat, never. Well, Antonio Manos, a very efficient first inning, set him down one, two, three, hoping for similar results here in the second. Quickly falling behind the center fielder for the Dodgers, Logan Rotzine. Now 3-0, a little bit of a brushback pitch. <laughs> Called strike at the letters. Take sign on all the way at 3-0. Ball four, leadoff walk. First base runner of the game for the Dodgers comes on a five pitch walk. Now the shortstop, Carter Herman. Well, they certainly uh, need to get some runs here, trailing four nothing. It's, it's early, just in the bottom half of the second, but uh, yet to get a base hit. Looking to get something going are the Dodgers. Well, Carter Herman's uh, best Little League memory, Joe Yund, is this, this very season, the season of 2014. Out in front of that one a little bit and follows it back to the backstop, one and one. Carter Heeman.
That one up over Corey behind the plate. And Rotstein will scramble to second on the wild pitch. Again, you're a little bit wild and he got an opportunity to get a runner in a scoring position through the Dodgers trailing for nothing. One misses wide, two and one. Popped up. And in foul territory, what a play by Corey for the first out of the inning. Able to get that out, but allows the base runner to move to third, but a beautiful play by Corey as he dies for that one in foul territory. A good eye job keeping your eye on that, knowing where you are, and quickly throwing it back in, but not before they can advance to third. And the ball in the dirt. Here comes the throw at the plate, and he slides in in front of the tag. And Matt, Matt was looked at uh, looked at our official. That's the right call. It was definitely the right call. We'll see it again here. Just couldn't get the tag down time. There he touches the plate before the tag is administered by Manos. Got to get your body back in front of the plate, block it off. Yes, you do. And you got to sweep the tag in front of the plate. Catching clinic by Joe Young. Well, he's a pitcher, but. I understand that. One shot back to Birmingham. Throw is in time for round number two. Nice job, close play at the bag. That'll be out number two for the A's in the field. Joe Hinkle, his first trip to the dish. Two out, nobody on. First pitch in there for a strike. Swung on and missed. And it's 0 and 2. Oh, man, also heading the count with two outs. Just get out of this inning with just a one run coming across. And he will do that with the swinging strike three. Dodgers able to turn a leadoff walk into their first run of the game, but they trail 4 to 1 after two. We'll be back with the third inning next on CTF. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner okay. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Summer evening at the ballpark. Yeah, you can smell it from here. The grilling up some burgers. And they were nice enough to uh, send a couple over here they, during the first game. They were. They were fantastic. Some cheeseburgers and a few chips and something to drink. It's hard. It's a hard life. It is. Live. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. What can you do? Show up at the ballpark, do a game, get a burger. We like it. Well, the A's in the top of the second inning left the bases loaded. Got a new pitcher towing the rubber here. And uh, That's, uh, Hinkle, Hinkle threw Murray. a lot of pitches. Aiden uh, Widmer Murray on the mound for the Dodgers. 
which means we would have a new catcher. That usually is what it means. Yeah, because he Logan can't play. Logan Rotstein yep. is now behind the plate. Can't play both positions at the same time. So I don't know who's out center. I will tell you in a minute. It looks to me. Tay Birmingham. Wyatt Johnson, I believe, number 11, I believe, is in center field. Tay Birmingham will lead things off. A ground ball to second base. His first time up. This one hit to short. Scooped up, thrown across. <laughs> A little bit Snow of an cone. adventure over there. On the throw from Eamon. We got a new first baseman over there too. Now First pitch to Jonathan Bar Barnes fall back out of play. They're just moving everybody around. Yeah, just to make your job uh, difficult. Pitch in there for a called strike, and it's quickly 0-2. back and out of play. This is Colton Barnes, or uh, Fair. It's Joey Gazda over at first. Fair came in and ran for Barnes after he walked last time. This one popped back and just gets out of play. Right to our left. Kids scrambling for those foul balls. Fair is uh, battling here. One's up high, one and two. Yeah, Good try. take by Fair. <laughs> Good take. Tried to drop that one in. This one popped up in front of the plate. Rotzine is there for out number two. Nice job, nice way to stay with it with by Rotzine. Drops that mask, make sure he gathers it in for out number two. See him eyes on at all times. Nice catch. Pitch is in there for a called strike. Ethan Huffman, the batter for the A's. One's low, one and one. He's holding on to that 4-1 cushion. A uh, speed pitch fouled off. Now with Murray in a good position here ahead of the count of one and two with two away. Get his team back to the play if he can get the K. Still a pitcher's count at two and two. This is low and the count goes full. Yeah, a little bit low. Good job holding off on that pitch. Walk for Huffman. Bing up Darren Smith. Round out to the pitchers. First time up. Misses I. Took a little something off, but couldn't get it to drop into the zone. Two and zero. Oh. Yeah, he tried. He tried to. And again, patience to the plate pays off by just holding off on those kind of pitches. Foul back 
taken out of play. Two and one. Good fastball, but misses inside. Three and one. Uh, good patience back him off the plate. Good pitch right there, and the count is full. Well, he needed that one to, to put the count at full. Again, just trying to get out of this inning with the runner at first and two away. Do it. This is low back to back walks with two outs. And the A's go back to the top of the order trying to get a two out rally going. Now with a, uh, now with a three run lead. Whitmer Murray got first two outs. Turn out back to back walks. All right, strokes the first thing he sees in the left. It skips past Danny Anderson. One run is going to score. They're going to wave the second run in. Smith is going to slide in, and he is blocked nicely by Rossine. And that'll be the third out, but they will add one more. They lead five to one as we go to the bottom of the third inning. Many of our heroes coming home from wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have a new battle, unemployment. Hello, I'm Rocky Lynn. I'm Sergeant Dejan Farrell. And I'm Captain Ron Jarvie. The unemployment rate for today's veteran is 12%. That's twice the average of others living here in the heartland. This year, tribute to the troops, the armed forces, and members of the Upper Midwest Emmy Chapter are asking you to help. Hire today's veteran. To hire today's veteran, visit hero to hired at h2h.jobs. Bug spray coming out at the ballpark, and that's a good idea because yeah, it's it's buggy. It's it mosquito is. season. Yes. The flying vermin yeah. are definitely in attendance at the ballpark. I thought that was a minor league team there you were talking about. The flying plenty, vermin. There is plenty here for them to feast upon. Fortunately, uh, getting a health healthy amount of my blood I think legs getting chewed up a That's little bit sweet blood right Aiden Fatachik leading things off he falls off the bunt now the A's able to get that one run back the Dodgers got their bottom half of the second pinches inside in there for a strike. Manos has only allowed one runner. That runner was on by a walk and was able to uh, make his way all the way around. On, uh, helped by a couple of wild pitches, able to score. Do the pitch, nice job. Just needed to get it where he needed to be in a swinging uh, strike for the first out. Number nine hitter Danny Anderson falls off the first pitch.
called strike. Manos in front, 0 2. Swings and pitch down and in. It gets away, but the throw down will complete the strikeout. It's the third straight strikeout for Antonio Manos. Yeah, he's pitching well, and now with two relatively quick outs here in the bottom half of the third. He's looked like they have an opportunity to get back to the plate quickly. Back to the top of the order, Aiden Widmer Murray. Fouls back a fastball. Underneath it just a little bit. And now one and one. Piece of him. He'd be able to skip, he was able to skip away from it, but close to getting hit by that pitch. Uh, Went down after that one, nearly took out a our camera. <laughs> Back behind home plate. That's Katie Joe. Two and two. Missed high. Full count. I'm going to call time here. Tie his shoe. That reminds me of someone I know. It's got the same shoes, even. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the knee, the, those uh, those neons, the neon Nikes are very popular. A uh, speed pitch swung on and missed. Manos fans the side in the third. His A's lead five to one as we go to the fourth inning. You're watching the Majors Town Tourney Championship on CTF. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Mm. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection, they need you. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. As a parent, you want to make sure that your child knows how to deal with bullying when they see it happening. And chances are they want to help, but they don't really know how. I'll teach them that the best thing to do is calmly walk away, find a teacher or other adult, and speak up. And do your part. Be that adult they can talk to and trust will listen. Join me to help stop bullying. Go to stopbullying.gov to find out more. Back in the Central League field, we're midway through the Town Tourney Championship. A's thinking upset as they have the early 5-1 lead. Well, it'd be, it would uh, definitely not be good if you didn't like us on CTN page at Facebook. We, we talked about all over the all over social media. It was a tough one to, for you to spit yeah, out. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's been, a long, it's been a long day. But uh, if you haven't checked us out on Facebook, like what do. you see. You if you want to see more of Joe Yond, and I know many Yo. people do, go to Facebook, like us, and you'll be all over it. Very few in this world that want to see more. See more. Oh, goodness gracious. There, see? Hello, no, Jeff. That's just not right. Capture, caption this. Right? Let me out. <laughs> right? <laughs> I haven't flinched once at a foul ball. Manos with a chance to help his own cause. He's one for one. He singled in the first, came around to score, walked in the second. Looks at a strike here. 
Got yet another pitcher on the hill. Yeah. This one hit well the right. It's going to be over the fielder's head. Turning and deep for two is Manos. He's in standing up with a leadoff double. Well, Joe, that would be Isaac Johnson on the mound for the Dodgers, but. Uh, well, of course it would. Yeah, of course. You knew, you knew that, though. A nice, so, nice piece of hitting there to lead this inning off for that, the A's. I, I think that's Widmer Murray out in right. No. No. It's now Aaron Ness yep. out in right. So is Widmer Murray at first? No. They just kind of spin the wheel. Joey, Joey uh, Gasta is still at first. Gasta is still there. Yep. Spin the wheel. This one hit on a line, dropped at second base. Manos is going to hustle over to second base after the drop. They do get the out at first. So Curry out on a pitch. Oh, and that was a hustle play by Manos. Is able to realize they were going to throw to first. He took advantage of that, made it to third with one, or one away, trying to increase their lead. 5-1 now in favor of the A's here in the top of the fourth. Jake Curry. One for two. Pretty easy to lay off that pitch. This one rolled to second. They'll get the out, but they'll score the run. And it's a 6-1 lead for the Central League A's. Oh, Manos, Manos led off the inning with that double, and then the second of two ground balls brings him home. Outside pitch to Dawson Hamilton. He had the big hit in the first inning, a two-run triple. Can't catch up to that one down and away. Out in front of the change up a little bit and it's one and two. Oh, nice pitch there to go ahead and the count at one and two. Johnson trying to get out of this without any more damage done. There it is. And a nice looking pitch there for called strike three. A's do add one more. They lead six to one as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. So what you want to do is have you already enrolled? You're doing fine. Select the drop down menu again. Okay. Okay. You're already in roll. Oh. Example here. So don't panic. <laughs> You're ready to make your payments. There it is. Oh my god. Oh. I really can't believe it. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. <laughs> can help make you and your child healthier. Search We Can to find doable tips and activities that you can use every day. It's a couple of the, uh, well, both yep. head coaches from the third place game, the Cardinal and National teams, both National League teams. Well, we see all three National League majors teams this evening. On the, and, the, and the younger children, they don't want to watch the game. They want to just be pushed in the swing, having a good time here at the ballpark. Keeps the bugs off. Yeah. Him. Two, three, four hitters do up, and Aaron Ness leading off, offering a bunt at a pitch over his head. Come on, Aaron. 
Ducks down, it's one and one. Romano's still on the mound. Oh, you, only 36 pitches yeah. through three innings. Yeah, that's, uh, that's efficient. I think the the starter the starter for the Dodgers threw more than that in the second inning alone. Right. Now three and one. He's only allowed one base runner, a leadoff walk in the second. There you go. Able to come back with a strike here. And a called third strike. That is his fifth straight strikeout. Yeah, it's, uh, that's impressive for Antonio Manos. Ness didn't agree, but nope. when you duck down like that, a lot of times the umpire is going to give the benefit of the doubt to the pitcher. Corey makes the stop, steps on the bag, and a quick second out. And now Logan Rotzin, the only one to reach base so far. Walked, moved to second on a wild pitch, moved to third after tagging up on a pop fly in foul territory, came home on a wild pitch. Yeah, he's looking to try and get out of this inning quickly and move to the top of the fifth, holding a five-run lead. Rodzine content to look for his pitch, especially yep. now in the driver's seat at 3-0. and oh. Had the green light on 3-0. and oh. This one chopped back up the middle. To his left is Birmingham. He throws across for round number three. And again, the Dodgers retired in order. We go to the fifth. It's A's six, Dodgers one. What's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just I, there was a I had just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point there, smoke key. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Central Little League Park. So Joe, the Dodgers yet to get a hit in this game, trailing 6 1. They just have to feel pretty good about their uh, about their game here so far as we start the top of the fifth. Well, and as we saw in the third place game, no run or no lead really safe. Oh, no, definitely not. You can change at any moment. Isaac Johnson will continue his first <laughs> inning of work pretty decent. Gave up a leadoff double, but then uh, a couple of ground outs and a strikeout. Did give up a run, but we'll face Tate Birmingham to lead things off. Birmingham, a couple of ground outs.
thought about that one, but wisely held off as it fell down and away out of the zone. This one chopped and it's well over the head of Johnson's headed third. And a leadoff single for Tate Birmingham. Well, Johnson playing in on that, that bat by Birmingham and Birmingham doing a nice job chopping that ball up over the head for the base hit. You see him playing up in the that infield grass. Golden Fair, first shot goes to Johnson. They'll get the lead runner at second base. A nice play. Able to get that ground ball and the throw over to the second shortstop covering. Not an opportunity for a double play. Off speed pitches inside. Ethan Huffman walked and scored his last time up. This one rolled to the right side. Scooped up by Fitachik, but the throw not, or by uh, Arndt, the throw not in time, and that'll be an infield single. Well, I'm not sure why Arndt looked to his right. Watch him look to his right. That's gonna, that's gonna cause the runner to be able to get to first without the, uh, without the out. So I'm not sure he was looking to go to second, but you, you have no play at second at that place. You've got to throw to first and get that out. Now you've got one out and runners at first and second. Derek Smith walked and then was thrown out as they tried to get him. That pitch hit the dirt in front of the plate, but he couldn't hold off on the swing. Both runners are going to advance on the wild pitch. Come on, Derek. Be smart up there. And swinging at that pitch. One I know he'd like to have back. One away, runners second and third. 0 oh, 2 pitch is up and in. Fair the runner at third, Huffman at second. One two pitch, soft liner cannot be corralled at first. Nobody covering the bag. The runner will come home from third. Good heads up play by Fair. And the A's increase their lead. I yeah, give credit to Fair. He saw that nobody that didn't have the opportunity to go home because nobody was covering the bag at first. Kind of a tough one. For Corey at, at uh, or for, for Ness at first. Yep. Handcuffed him a little bit and then nobody covering the bag and a heads up play by Fair to come home. Back to the top of the order, Jack Arndt. Followed that one back off the home plate umpire. That's why you got the pads. Aren't a couple of hits and an RBI in the game. He had the big hit at the end of that third inning and double. They tried to score Smith all the way from first and he's thrown out at the plate on a nice relay from left field. Now two and one. He's trying to trying to put it out of reach up 7-1. That hit him. Gonna load the bases. Not what Isaac Johnson wanted to do. And a good hitter in Antonio Moss coming to the plate. Single, a double, and a walk in his three trips. He scored twice. Manos trying to help his own cause with the bases loaded, only one away. First pitch is outside. 
Been patient at the plate. Nice job taking that pitch. In front of the out speed pitch a little bit, one and one. Get out of play. The Dodgers trying to do what they, they can to get out of this inning. Base well, the A's the have left the bases loaded once already yep. in this ball game. This one drilled toward the right field. The catch is made. Tagging and coming home. And they dropped the throw at yeah, third. They nearly, they nearly had Smith on a good relay again, but everybody advances on the sacrifice fly. We'll see it again. Just uh, enough on there to score the runner from third. And it looked like they were going to have the base runner going from second to third, but unfortunately dropped. They had him. There's the ball popping out of the glove. Two away runners at, at second and third. High fly to short center coming in to make the catch is Smith. And that'll end the inning. But the A's had a couple more. They lead eight to one as we go to the bottom of the fifth. You're watching Little League Baseball on CTA. Well, the Central League A's have been able to score in each and every inning so far, putting up crooked numbers in three of the first five innings, giving themselves an eight to one lead. The only run of the game thus far for the Dodgers coming home on the wild pitch right there. It's their only base runner to this point. And it came via a walk, leading off the bottom of the second inning. Good play at the plate. Nice block by Rotsin. That ended the third inning, top of the third inning. Well, you have to be impressed with what the A's have done here this evening. And you know, they've done a good job. And especially that young man pitching well from the mound, keeping these hitting well. Th and hitting well, but pitching well from the mound, keeping the hitters for the Dodgers at bay. I mean he's uh, he's two for two with a single, a double, a walk, an RBI, two runs scored. Drove in a run with a uh, sack fly. Pretty nice outing. In the top half of this inning. Carter Heyman. Pop up to first in foul territory his first time up. This one hit pretty well the right. Nice basket catch out there. Is that As they move around so much, who's eight? Yeah, eight is, uh, that would be da Dawson Hamilton. Hamilton, okay. Nice job by. Oh, hey, that's just started. That's just started out there. Young Mr. Hamilton. That. I'm looking at the wrong. Well, you know. Isaac Johnson, a ground out to short his first time up. Isaac <laughs> Johnson. Stay strong. 
Fastball misses low, it's 2-0. And now outside, 3-0. See if Johnson has this take sign, I would assume so. 3-0. Showing bunt, pulls it back, called strike. This one hit to the right side, scooped up. Over to Corey for round number two. Well, after working the count of three and one, a nice job getting that hit ball on the ground, getting using your defense behind you to get that out. And two away now in the bottom half of the fifth. Bring up Joe Hinkle. I take that back. It is Joe. It is Joe. Joe, it's Jazda. Yeah, I knew that. Swung on and missed. And it's quickly 0-2. Well, Joey's favorite league memory is playing the Orioles and came back to score eight runs in the fifth inning. Swing and a miss. He's done on three pitches. Manos continues to look sharp. We go to the sixth. It's the Central League A's eight. The National League Dodgers won. You're watching the Majors Town Tourney Championship on CTA. got a job to do today. Hey, Mom. I got the job. <laughs> Thanks. Got the job. Welcome aboard. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. It's my turn. No, it's not. I told you, it's my turn. Let go. Let go. Nope. Well, at least they, they get it, the video of them on their fighting exactly. over it, not when we were doing it earlier. Yes. Well. Who did win that argument? I'm not sure. Come on, it's my turn. No, it's not. I'm telling mom. I know, right? That banner up for grabs. Yes, it is. Right now, the A's have a healthy lead going to the sixth. Yeah, they're in the driver's seat at this point now, top of the sixth. Dodgers want to come up here, get three quick, quick outs, and try and get back into this ballgame. Carter Heeman will take over behind the plate now. Johnson will continue on the hill. Oh, 
Jay Corey will lead things off. He's one for three. RBI on a run scored and RBI on a ground ball his last time up. This one hit pretty well to center. Going back is Smith and makes the catch over his shoulder. One pitch, one out. Made it exciting though. He did make it exciting. Get, uh, able to keep an eye out in the center field. Gonna go over his shoulder for the catch. The first out of the inning for the Dodgers in the field. To bring up Dawson Hamilton. He had the two run triple in the first inning. Chops the first offering foul. It's flied out and struck out since. One shot to right side and under the glove. That's second base of Aaron Ness. He's gonna find that little hole in his glove. One out, A's have a base runner at first. Bring up Tate Birmingham, one for three. Has made, has made some nice plays from a shortstop position for the A's today. Takes a pitch low. This one hit high to short right center. Sliding catch. Crowd number two. Nice job coming in from right field, making sure he got that in the glove. Gotta look in to make sure it was still there. A little scary on yeah. the uh, basket catch, but it worked out. Bring up Colton Fair. Pitches inside, they throw down to first. Away. Got away and they're gonna run all the way over to third, sliding in safely is Dawson Hamilton. That's a chance you take, you want, you want to get out of the inning and you take a chance throwing down to first base, but that's what happens when you don't make that play. And now the runner's over at third with two away and an opportunity to see if possibly they can bring home another run. Swung on and missed by Fair. Fair reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the fifth. Outside. Three and one. Now you're, you're in danger of losing the hitter here with two away, giving him the, the free base. Right. One chop, right side, fielded, the throw in time. For out number three, they'll leave that run stranded at third, but they lead this one. Eight to one as we go to the bottom of the six. Dodgers see if they can pull out a big rally in the bottom of this one. So what is CTN Studios? Well, we're the local cable TV station in Coon Rapids. We bring you news, events, city government, sports, all the things that are happening in and around our community. So that means you'll find out what's going on next door or at City Hall or at the local schools. It's information other stations don't think is important, but we think it's information that's important to you. Want to know when streets are being fixed? Or learn new ways we can recycle? Or how the local teams are doing? You can find all of this on CTN. It's not just about bringing the community to you. It's about bringing you to the community. Because we think you'll like it here.
CTN Studios, building community through cable. There you see it. Eight to one lead for the uh, for the A's trying to close this thing out. Manos has uh, been strong and yes, he he's been efficient. Just 58 pitches through five innings. That's outstanding. Facing the bottom of the order here. Marty Jennings, I believe his first at bat. Just one over the minimum is Manos. And a swing and a miss. It's his seventh strikeout. You see the pitch. And swing and a miss. Two outs away. There's one fouled back to the backstop. Jackson Lotter, his first at bat. Oh, brushed him back a little bit. A pitch on the inside. Inside goes all the way to the backstop, but no real worry with no one on base. And one out. Two one pitch. Hit well the right, but underneath it is Hamilton for out number two. And the A's one out away from claiming this championship, and that's going to be it. Well, and, and I'm sure he would love, love to be able to finish this game. Don't know where the pitch count is. You do. But I believe uh, we are told 85 pitches. Unless he's only 10. Unless he's 10. I, I believe it's, I believe it's, I believe it's 65 for 10 year olds. Right. 75 for 11 and 85 for 12. And that's the only way reason you'd pull him. I mean, a nearly perfect game for Manos. The only base runner he allowed, it was a walk. We'll take a break. We'll be back and see if the A's can finish this one off. Once its sights are set, nothing can stop the ferocious lion from capturing its prey. Relying on keen senses, lions search patiently before striking with alarming speed. Wait for it. Gotcha, Mr. Piece of Rubbish. He is truly the master of his environment. Do good, be a lion. So I've got to imagine that Mr. Manos is just 10 years old, because I believe 65 is the limit for 10 year olds and he threw 66. And in 66 pitches, he threw five and two thirds. The only flaw being a walk. That walk did turn into a run. And nonetheless, but no that, hits. That's an impressive just one outing. walk, seven strikeouts. Impressive outing for that young man. Had a nice day at the plate, too. Yes, Drove a couple in, scored a couple. Now he's going to finish this game at short. With Jake Curry on the mound. And there it is, swinging strike three 
for Widmer Murray. And the A's will claim this championship eight to one. Well, Joe, the A's controlled this game from start to finish. They did a nice job, opened up that lead, didn't look well, and back. Again, and, you, you, and when you say they, really Manos controlled this game. Well, as far as runs, though, they produced some runs and, and they put the Dodgers in a hole. And you're right, though, Manos did an amazing job at limiting these Dodger hitters. He uh, so an outstanding performance. So rare to see someone that strong at this level, but uh, especially and I, again, I'm I'm assuming they with two outs in the fifth and throwing like that, the only reason you pull him is because he's reached his limit. The only way he's reached his limit is if he's only 10. So if he's playing as a 10 year old at the majors level and throwing that well, very impressive. Very impressive, pretty good young man. By, pretty impressive. by uh, Mr. Manos. And then uh, add to it that he had a single, a double, a sacrifice fly and a walk. So he was two for two from the plate with an RBI and two runs scored. Um, a nearly perfect yeah. night for for him and and uh, as as a reward his team is the is the uh, majors town tourney champion yeah con congratulations uh, definitely to the A's you know we've been doing this quite a long time and you never know which one of these young men's will, men will see at the next level in in high school play we saw Anthony Rose love play in this game and Certainly go on, went on to did well, do well at the high school level. Number seven, Joe Gazda. Number eight, Danny Anderson. Number nine, Aiden Widmer Murray. Number 11, Wyatt Johnson. Number 12, Marty Jennings. And number 14, Joe Hinkle. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2014 second place champion, the Dodgers from Coon Rapids National Little League. The 2014 Majors Town Tourney champion are your Coon Rapids Central Little League A's. Number one, Derek Smith. Number two, Colton Fair. Number three, Ryan Corey. Number four, Jack Arndt. Number seven, Antonio Manos. Number eight, Dawson Hamilton. Number nine, Ethan Huffman. Number 10, Jake Corey. Number 11, Jack Velocity. Number 13, Tay Birmingham. And number 14, Jonathan Barnes. I would be remiss if I didn't uh, make one comment tonight. Tonight's pitching duo of Antonio Manos and Jake Corey combined for a no-hitter. Congratulations, guys. You did an awesome job. Your 2014 Majors Town Tourney Champions, Coon Rapids Central Little League A.
Can I have all players that are entered into the home run hitting contest? So that is come towards home plate. There they are, your 2014 Majors Town Tourney Champions, the Central League A's, and it comes via an outstanding pitching performance by Antonio Manos, five and two thirds. No hit ball, just one walk allowed. And then Corey coming in to finish it off and get that last out on a strikeout. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, the A's eight. The Dodgers won. Want to thank everybody out there for joining us. Continue to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howard Shapiro. I'm Joe Young. Say goodnight.